Hi there, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will start looking at uh, the uh, internal walls of our uh, terraced housing project. Uh, first of all, we will uh, set up the walls to do um, the uh, party walls. And um, so if I go to um, architecture and then walls, then I pick up a basic wall. Uh, that is that's that's fine. We can modify this um, uh, to suit. So if I do, um, if I if I pick up that wall and do edit type, first of all I duplicate. It's always good to duplicate so that uh, you have uh, the uh, Revit standard one uh, always there in case you want to use it for something else. Um, I'll call it something different. Um, if I uh, take away that and um, make the, int the dimensions uh, slightly different, and then plaster, uh, I'll have uh, plaster both on the inside and on the uh, and on the outside. So if I change that, I call it party wall. Right, I think that uh, that's fine. So if I say OK, then I go to uh, edit. So the structure is con um, uh, concrete masonry units. I want that as 120, like we just said. The score boundary, I want to move that up a bit. And um, I'd like to insert a new finish, which is, uh, sorry, a new uh, layer there, which is, um, yeah, structure is fine by category. I want uh, concrete masonry units. Yep, yeah, that one. If I say OK, that comes in. And then on top of the concrete masonry units, I want uh, gypsum insert. So if I do insert again, and then um, change our category to finish. And then change that and look for gypsum or board. That's fine. Okay. Um, dimension uh, 12.5. So I've got uh, gypsum. This is a party wall on uh, one property side. Then I've got a concrete mason unit. Um, this is uh, 120. Then I've got, I um, suppose we could use 100 there. Uh, 120 is fine for now. Um, we then, uh, on this side, brick, this was from the Revit standard. I can delete that completely. Um, these can come out. So you've got um, air between them. Really, that um, in a sense is for it helps with uh, impact, impact sound, and um, so if I move this core boundary, move it up. So you've got uh, concrete air, concrete that is fine, and then finish on the one side of the property is uh, gypsum, and finish on the other side of the property is uh, gypsum. And you've got uh, two layers of uh, concrete masonry units with an um, airspace between them. Okay, I think that uh, that will do. At least um, that shows you how you can change uh, the Revit uh, standard architectural elements again. So if I say, so if I accept that, okay, and then accept that, okay. So that's our 
wall that we've built. So if I now go back to level zero and zoom in a bit. So what have we got here? Um, if I go to uh, architecture walls, that's uh, because I've just finished that, you know, it defaults uh, uh, to that. Um, then I just set sets that I want that to level one, and uh, I can just draw. Then I do the second, the other one. Right, so those are my party walls. If I go to 3D, you can see the party wall there between the two properties on the on the ground floor. Actually, we can take this to um, we can take this to the uh, to level two. So if I take that to level two. Oh no, uh, that was the wrong one. Uh, if I cancel, uh, that's the base constraint is level zero. I need a top constraint to go to level two. So you can see that that has gone up. If I click on that one, take the top constraint is what I'm looking for. Uh, base constraint is where the base starts. So uh, if I take that to level two as well, so. So those are the party walls between the individual properties. It's got uh, space an airspace between them. Obviously, that helps with uh, impact uh, uh, sound uh, or in uh, achieving a good uh, sound insulation between uh, the two between uh, two different two properties. So um, we can now that we've got the party walls installed, we can um, then if I go to level zero. Suppose I can uh, do um, uh, the internal uh, walls before I do uh, the floors. Okay, let's let's do the internal walls for this uh, uh, property here. So if I go to wall, if I select, click on that, and um, I look for block uh, block internal partition wall. I think that is fine and then I can just draw my wall you can draw this wall as well Of it. Yeah, it's not aligning there. Um, I just oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Just take that out and um, just. Um, Sorry, if I just extend that wall to this one, that aligns it. So um, now that I've done that, I can begin to uh, uh, putting. Let's put those doors in. So door. So I've clicked door. Um, what is coming out? Uh, just a few doors. Um, okay, I think we can 
we can actually use that internal uh, single Revit standard one, which is that one. And if I put that there, that's the door installed. And if you look at uh, these um, uh, two arrows, if I click on it, it will change the direction. And the same thing happens here if I put that in, then click on that, that changes this direction. I think we missed uh, this wall, there's a wall here. So if I, I'll come back and draw this wall first, which is wall. But, uh, sorry, uh, partition wall. If I click there and bring it down there, all I then need to do is to move that a bit uh, to move it into position with the other wall. And I suppose we can break that wall depending on how it is. Um, we can do break. So if I click on that, ask it to break the wall, that breaks it. So if I select this wall and pull it back here, I select that one and pull it back there. Okay. Um, the so if we go back to doors, we need to find external doors uh, for these walls. So if I click on wall, click on. Um, then um, I need to uh, I need to bring it in. Um, so if I go to uh, insert uh, load family, then if I scroll down, oh, no uh, cancel. No, we need to bring. Uh, I'm trying to put in um, uh, doors. So what I do is um, is architecture door. Now if you look at door, we haven't got an external um, door that we want here. So what we do is uh, you go to load family, then look for uh, doors, external doors, and uh, just find one that um, is suitable. Uh, I want single, not double. External single. Okay, I think that uh, that looks reasonable. Open. And that brings it in here. So um, I can use that door. Can see straight away that it's quite tight there. I can adjust that. I should open to the outside. Um, I'm going to ad adjust this by moving this wall in a bit. Uh, obviously, it begins to conflict with the original um, uh, drawing. This was this drawing was done many years ago, and uh, some uh, it's got to sort of, um, I suppose, be updated to uh, uh, current standards. Um, so we've got so we've got that. And uh, what else is left? 
So we've got our kitchen, we've got um, our, ah, there's um, a wall that is left there. So if we click on wall, basic wall again, no, um, wall, wall center line. Yep, and we just then um, begin to uh, develop uh, the scheme itself. There is um, a bin store here that we might as well just do. We use our block wall to do that. Bring that back. And uh, let me check the right um, two point eight meters. Well, perhaps not. Um, we'll look at that when uh, we we'll start doing the uh, the roof system. So really is uh, to go around um, and do the same for all the three um, uh, houses. So if you will just go around now and uh, just uh, do the same, pretty much what we have done uh, for the other three, uh, sorry, for the other two uh, units. Uh, in order to keep uh, these uh, tutorials short, I'm going to um, uh, stop this particular tutorial uh, here we started first of all uh, looking at uh, the architectural elements again uh, just to summarize uh, for the party walls we took a very standard architectural element we adjusted it and uh, we've used uh, that to do the party uh, the party uh, walls uh, that is uh, the walls between uh, the the uh, terrace houses and then uh, we drew the internal walls and uh, we started looking at uh, putting uh, doors into our building. So if we very quickly uh, look at uh, the 3D or for the particular for this one that we've just done. So if I just uh, click on that um, shift and middle mouse drag, you can see that that is what we've done uh, so far. And uh, we will continue to develop this over the coming uh, tutorials uh, but for now we stop here to uh, to ensure that uh, we do not um, have too much in uh, one particular tutorial to keep them as short as possible okay so I'll see you uh, next time when we continue uh, developing uh, this project from here